Hey guys, what is up everybody, SJS here. In this video, I wanna share with you some information which might be useful and uh, try to answer the question, when is the best time to come to Montenegro if you wanna ride a motorcycle? Some people actually can try to convince you that you can ride here all year round and uh, it is partially true because if you live in Montenegro, of course, when you can catch this, uh, you know, few days of good weather, you can take your bike for a spin. But if you're actually a traveler and if you want to come here, you expect that when you come to Montenegro, you're definitely going to have all that experience of riding and seeing places. The country itself is quite small. And if you travel here, you definitely want to see the country from south to the north because that's where you can actually experience all the beauties of Montenegro and all of those uh, beautiful scenic routes and uh, um, uh, national parks. Uh, it's a kind of like all around the country. So it's not like in one place you can experience everything. The best time to be here is when you have really nice and um, more or less uh, consistent weather here in the coast. And when you have really good weather up there in the mountains, somewhere in mid-April or late April, that's where you can actually start riding your bike to, to the north of Montenegro, because in most of the cases, uh, usually by that time, uh, snow is melting and roads are dry. And again, it depends from year to year. Sometimes, you know, snow can melt a little bit earlier, sometimes later in the year. Last year, we went up to up to the mountains to Durmitor area, which is one of the most popular, let's say, destinations um, here in Balkan region. And uh, even mid-May, you can you can see the snow on the side of the road, which is, uh, you know, a typical situation. And that's where you have to be careful because, you know, if you're local, you can just like turn back and you can, you, you can come back home. But if you're someone who's traveling here and you have only limited time to spend in Montenegro, that's probably can be uh, a little bit disappointing. So um, I would not really suggest to plan your trip earlier than the beginning of the May. Um, and then I would say the best months when you can actually see Montenegro south, north and everything in between is May and maybe up to mid-June and then from end of August uh, to mid-October. Like those are the best times to come here and uh, don't be really bothered much about what weather could be. In the springtime, you're gonna see beautiful, beautiful nature of Montenegro. You will observe this like season change, right? So everything is green and fresh, but same time you can see snow somewhere in the peaks on the mountains. The nature will be full of colors. And definitely if, you're, if you travel here, just keep in mind that uh, Midsummer is super, super, bu super busy. It's busy with, you know, this coastal tourism because everyone comes here to spend the time by the sea. And that's where, first of all, prices are skyrocketing because it's really short season here in Montenegro, only a few months where you can actually spend here um, by, by the sea. And also temperature is quite high. So sometimes it can be plus 40 degrees Celsius during the summer months. Um, usually it is July and August. I would not really advise you to come here in the winter. I would not advise you to come in the middle of the summer. But like those two, uh, let's say, time windows, um, they are the best. Let me know if you have any other questions. Leave them in the comment section below. We'll be happy to answer those. And as usual, if you're looking for a bike in Montenegro or if you want personalized experience, you can always reach out to us and we will be happy to assist you along the way.